With all eyes on Alabama, Trump gave Democrats huge middle finger with what he quietly did. Most of the country was focused on Alabama last night, and rightfully so, after perhaps the ugliest campaign battle we've ever seen. However, others were still hard at work while the rest of America paused, and President Donald Trump just gave Democrats a huge middle finger with what he quietly did. The left was recently responsible for some of the most disgusting, dirty, and vile tactics we've ever seen during a campaign. Sadly, they were successful as Democrat Doug Jones was able to pull off a narrow victory over Republican Roy Moore. Of course, we'll just have to wait and see how those sexual assault allegations against Moore go now that the election is over. In the opinion of many, now that the left no longer needs them, the accusers and their claims will just fade away with nothing becoming of them whatsoever. You know, kind of like what happened with Herman Cain. Although most of the country paused to watch what was unfolding in Alabama, it seems that wasn't the case for everyone. In fact, President Donald Trump was still hard at work last night and was actually able to give Democrats a huge middle finger with what he quietly did while most of us were distracted. According to The Hill, President Trump picked up an important judicial nominee via a narrow Senate confirmation. At the end of the day, Trump managed to slip another right-leaning judge into the federal court system which can only help our country in the long run. That's not a bad thing. You can be a liberal advocacy organization, Senator Sass said last month during a Judiciary Committee hearing. You have First Amendment rights and you should use them. What's not okay is being a liberal advocacy organization and be masquerading as a neutral evaluator of these judicial candidates. As always seems to be the case these days, Democrats are angry. For one, they lost again. However, they're actually telling the American people that they have the moral high ground on this. A panel of nonpartisan, legal experts unanimously concluded that this man is not fit to be a judge, said Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer, DNY. What else do my colleagues need to know? Schumer added that more broadly, these attacks, in small but important ways, diminish our democracy. Too bad for him, he's wrong, and Trump knows that he's wrong and is about to make sure it never happens again. As it turns out, Trump's administration officially put the ABA on notice in March that it will no longer be invited to review the president's judicial nominees. In short, he's discredited the group by hinting at the fact that they too, are fake news. Democrats may be celebrating their win in Alabama today but they're still losing big time. Alabama was the first real win they've had in a long time, and it really doesn't do them much good, seeing how much they've lost recently. Sure, they get another vote on the left, but they're still the minority, and the only thing they can do is lie and use pathetic delayed tactics. The end is near for Democrats, and although they may be loud and boisterous, all we're really hearing is the death rattles of a drying party, and party.